Hi there guys, this is Fuckers um, 31 Days of Creamy Horror Goodness, Volume 2, Episode 3, and um, this one is of a film that you would, you would seriously think that this film would have, would have been more, you think that this film would attract like practically everybody because the title because this title even few of the actors in it even few of the actors in it would attract you and even the front cover and boy oh boy it's not a matter of it's not a matter of it being um, you know of it being um, being a disappointed film, disappointing film. The problem lies within it being not a quality film. If you turn off your quality sensors in your brain, if you turn off the critical thinking and just watch this film, I guess it has some fun, fun Anyways, you probably already know it. I just want to build up tension in the video, but fuck, you probably already know because you saw it on the title or anywhere, wherever the YouTube is placing it. Um, anyways, this is Zombie Strippers, which is a 2008 R-rated 94 minute comedy horror film from Jay Lee. Let's see what Jay Lee has done. And I, I, I like it that they even have a poster from one of his films, I believe, as his IMDb photo. Wow, that's very, that's very professional. Oh, uh, yeah, we get to see Jay Lee. Anyway, so what does Jay Lee have done? Jay Lee. Uh, do, do, do. uh, fuck. He's done 14 films. And four of them, including multiple TV series, have been in 2013. Three of them have been in 2011. So you can tell that this guy's going to have a highly quality directing skills since he's done, like, that amount of films from two from 2002 to um, 2013 14 titles I don't think that's a quality record there anyways um, I couldn't really focus on this film because I honestly didn't really find it to be intriguing the film is about is about <clears throat> and I seriously I was seriously this was one of those films that I was like that sounds like a fucking cool title cool title but no in Robert England Freddy Krueger's in it it's like fuck yeah but um <clears throat> yeah but the thing is I was excited for the title, but if you want to see this film done better, and I think they ripped this off from a Masters of Horror episode, go watch Dance of the Dead. It has Robert England. It has Robert England um, being an owner, an owner of this bar or this nightclub or whatever, strip club or whatever, and. Rub, and they have zombies. It's a better. It's 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 shorter. It's shorter. It has a little, It has a more. Has more drama. It has more. It has more going for it. It has more of a dynamic. This one, on the other hand, doesn't. It doesn't. It's cheaply fucking made. It's cheap. It's just garbage. It's ultimately fucking garbage. See films like this bring a bad name to the horror genre. 
Um, but if you just watch it for in the aspects of fun, I don't even know if it stands up in that portion. The film is about these military guys, military guys who are gonna, you know, a typical zombie infestation, infestation films, and then the um. Somehow, I don't really remember. I wasn't even focus focusing. I wasn't even focusing on the damn movie to begin with. But um, somehow, it got to a strip club, and you got all these strippers, all these strippers who are gonna attack people, attack people, and it's just ultimately, yeah. It's, it's the good, one of the, one of the good characters, one of the persons who actually has a heart, lived, but, uh, but you get this nerdy douchebag, this, this nerdy douchebag who wants to have sex with this girl, a girl, and then you get this bitchy girl that doesn't really deserve to live much, she's just being annoying, she just reminds me of the and even annoying her pe penny from the Big Bang Theory, but even about a slightly more slutty, slightly more slutty. And it might even be the same fucking actress, I don't know. But I can't believe Robert England, Robert England, my, uh, one of my favorite horror actors, even Ben Affleck's favorite horror actors, uh, actors, who done great jobs on on majority of the Nightmare on Elm Street films, on the majority of the Nightmare on Elm Street films, um, uh, who has been in some, been in some, been in some decent things. He got him back one five. I don't know if that's quality production, but. I, I wasn't a big fan of the Masters of Horror episodes, Masters of Horror episodes, but at least I could see that there was some quality there. Um, man, oh man, I feel sorry for Robert England for being in this trash of a film. I, see, stuff like this, stuff like this provides a bad name to the horror genre. If we didn't have trash like this in the horror genre, then the horror genre would be a hell of a lot better. You got Ginny, oh, and another actress, I don't know much about her. You got Ginny Jameson. Yeah. Jenna, Jenna Jameson. Who all you guys, horny motherfuckers, could like. But not me. Yeah, she's been divorced twice from Justin Sterling and Brad Armstrong. Wow, that's very amazing. I honestly don't understand how anybody could like this film. It's it's ultimately it's just fucking trash. It got it honestly deserves less than the four point one that it, it's provided on IMDb. IMDB, and I hope that you enjoy the um, next videos, next uh, few videos that I do. I uh, hope that you enjoy the rest of the um, fuckers 31 days of creamy horror goodness, um, goodness episodes. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy them. And hopefully we get some better quality films. Yeah, I know that's I know that someday we're gonna someday we're gonna get to some quality films. Real soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, but um, anyways, I'll see you guys when I see you when I do my next fuckers. Thirty-one days of creamy horror goodness. Have a good day, sir, and goodbye.